Hola señoritas y señores, soy General Montaña, soy eslovaco loco. Now I need an explanation from every Spanish speaker. Why are y'all saying soy? Are y'all soy boys? Anyway, how are you enjoying the new DLC that finally made South America somewhat playable and enjoyable? And hey, if you enjoy today's bullshittery from my side, don't forget to leave a like. And also, I'm running another giveaway for two copies of the new DLC. All you got to do is subscribe and verify it on Gleam.io. There will be also other ways to enter this giveaway. In the last giveaway I made a little mistake and put it on for four days, so this one will be a little bit shorter. And today I will be ruining Argentina with communism. And I will be hoping that I won't get attacked by a werewolf Argentinian president. Oh, just wait till I start living in the big commie building. I'll be living in a palace. I'm Ceausescu Maxing. Now we can invite this guy back to Argentina and I hope he will start a banger podcast with his communist rhetoric. Now we will make sure when you open a book, a hammer and sickles will do a jump scare on you. Viva la revolucion! Alhamdulillah! The whole South America will be socialist. Now that our communist podcast was this successful, it is time to take up arms and destroy this country even more. Civil Jihad is a upon us. Before this focus hits we will do one simple trick and just delete our whole army and when the civil war begins we're just gonna use these little horses. Oh no America please don't embargo us we just started this shit. My main exports will be communism but still. So yeah basically this is how you're gonna win a bloody civil war without spilling any blood at all. It is that easy. Oh senor justo donde tus ejercito. I mean they have two divisions but did it really help them? Nah, I don't think so. Civil war done pretty easy I would say. And you know, I'm recording this video during International Women's Day and I'm feeling romantical. Oh yeah, International Women's Day, let's go. Oh shit, she disappeared. And I got to say, I much rather have her old portrait that looks, in my opinion, way better. Or it should have been kept as her PFP as general, like Tinder profile versus LinkedIn profile. But what do you think? Tell me in the comments which is better old or new okay all right i think you can slave away your whole life in the factory as well banco central de la república argentina i would just solve this shit very easily cancel all banks boom no loans no problems oh i love this advice anti-unionist pure anarchist but we are going for a silent workhorse this focus tree is really good like look at the recognizable population and even our leader gives us two percent so yeah we will be magically summoning communist fighters all over the Argentina. And hey, we will do an agrarian reform that never went bad in communist countries. Right? And now we will make sure that if you open a book, also a cross jump scares you. And this is very ironic, I'm buying guns from UK which I will use to conquer them. You know I got to say, these consumer goods factories are just overpowered. Like we already have like minus 40%, which is just beautiful. Now crazy ass things are happening in Europe. So that's why we have our whole army in Minsk for some little trolling. And I feel like I should have so this shit like much sooner but it is what it is we are just gonna make this trade deal disappear now that the german reich just jumped into the benilux it's time for little argentina to make its little war goal going now that Germany capitulated the strongest nation in the Allies, we will temporarily disband our faction and just go for those Falkland Islands and we can get our army into the position. This treaty isn't valid anymore I guess. And hey, don't mind if I do. Now everything will be on those paratroopers. Now we just need to get air superiority or wait until nobody is over the Britain. Okay, our paratroopers have landed. It's time for our army to land as well. Before the British can do anything, we will strike them all. Yes, this is how you take Falkland Islands without taking Falkland Islands. I can imagine some meth-addicted Argentinian ultra-nationalist dreaming about Falkland War going like this. Now it's really a race against the time before they can pull more divisions from their colonies. The race for Scotland begins now. Yes, we have encircled the whole British army and they just shitted themselves enough to capitulate. 
great. Now I have reclaimed these fucking islands. And also we have seized the means of reproductions in New Zealand with another communist leader. Now also if we release Tahiti, there is another female leader, which name I will never attempt to pronounce. And we have even enslaved, I mean, liberate some African countries. And you know, we have charmed Hitler more than Eva Brown, but now we have to break his heart and leave axes and forge our own Argentinian destiny. And of really sad, Argentinian communist pussy got me acting unwise. We can now choose to replace our leader, but nah, we are keeping our girl. Soy hombre romantico. Welcome back, old man, but we never replaced you, so nothing to worry about. Now it's time to destroy American style capitalism. And we will just call our little communist Quebec. And yes, they will station their troops here. And we should be able to kind of go through this whole fucking mess. I mean, my army isn't the best or the worst, but I'm just betting on the Americans not having enough troops at this point. I love the smell of communist revolution in the morning. Americans? I see them more like Americans. Yeah, so few pockets here and there, no supply, that's always very nice. But I would say this invasion is going smoothly, considering everything. The only way this invasion will be successful if I babysit every little division. And even the little Washington is undefended. Well, never fucking mind then. And see, senor, we are doing numbers on them. You see, bajillion Americans will die in all these encirclements. As you can see, all of these encirclements are doing huge as numbers on them. Almost 500,000 Americans dead. And for some reason, Cuba and Mexico joined them. I mean, I don't mind taking extra land. And yeah, war in South America? No shit. Well, the situation isn't that good. The Americans have landed it. But what am I saying? Who am I kidding even? We took Washington City and we are halfway through the whole USA. You know I have to say that we are like a tree of life. We are growing day by day and everything is just beautiful. Like sometimes minus the little setbacks when we can't push them but if you can push them just walk around them. You know even the Mexicans who come to USA to take American jobs like fighting for USA are failing. Donald Trump would be extra mad. I mean, what else can I say then? You're welcome for killing you one million capitalists. Oh yeah, they will invade British Columbia. It will totally uninvade your entire country. Well, fucking shit. I didn't expect something like this would happen, but yeah, we have 14 divisions badly trained for this conflict, so um... Shit. I will impose the worst horror for every US citizen. A free universal healthcare. So I would say that Brazil just committed suicide and why did Peru gain the penis? Now every American has to have hammer and sickles in their books. And now tell me, which of these two paths will let me enslave the Latin America better? Of course the quote unquote liberate one. Hello all Latin American countries. You know I'm a maximalist. I'll be just invading everyone that I can. Sorry Guatemala but I will be taking all your guacamole. And hate no hate but you will be mine. And that mustache looks stupid. And Brazil is kinda forgetting that they are my bitch so nah. I feel like Uruguay will be mine. Like what you gonna do about it Mr. Brass? You know like Chile is one of the easiest nations to conquer. They've taken my land. I need to bomb their entire nation out of existence. So so Haiti made a little faction, but I feel like it won't really save all of these Central American countries. You know, I'm truly speedrunning this conquest. Well, never mind, we only got two countries. I really like how nobody wants Bolivia into their faction. Bro is getting bullied hard. With every day we are closer and closer to total Argentinian domination. And so, it turns out conquering small, poor countries isn't that hard, huh? And and hey look, we can even start integrating these people. We can be all poor together. Also I've declared war on Colombia. They joined the faction so I want to see if we can get them for free. Yes, and it worked. Just like that I don't have to fight in these jungle and mountainous areas. Now where is 
Where is my homie Rafael Franco and what did you do with him? You will all pay for that, even you Ecuador. And it seems like that with Paraguay we just have to repeat the war of triple alliance. I mean, I don't think it will be very enjoyable to lose all the manpower again. And hey look, the fucking islands will be a core soon. They really just don't want to simply surrender. I mean, I will give you a chance if you said yes. Now this is the invasion I'm really worried about. You know, mountainous country, everyone is ready to kill you, and yeah, it will be a pain in the ass. Or maybe not. It seems like it will be a very quick process, as I do be loving fighting and losing everyone in the mountains, baby. That's why they call me General Montaña. I had to justify this manually, because apparently El Salvador is a bastion of communism, but this will be the hardest nation to capitulate, I feel like. Or maybe even no, they are pretty good. Pretty good under my control. And we have another pretty annoying invasion of our hands just because they are fascists and they shit out of a lot of divisions. And also their geography is kinda shit. But we should be able to end this conflict pretty nicely and pretty quickly. So basically this war is just jump in, kill 30,000 Venezuelans, lose twice the number and win. And now let's kill the last independent South American nation. You can't hide under that wannabe Hitler mustache. I just got to love all of these fascist nations having bajillion divisions by 1942 and now they have zero. I am southing all over the America. So that means it's time to do Ocaso Escarlata and we will be creating a based socialist communist South American state that will never ever fail. Just the most blessed Argentina ever. Even our flag is a little sun with hammer and sickles but I miss that North Korean looking ass flag. And as Argentina you can core all of these lands but it will take like over 3000 political power for me. I have cleaned the borders a little bit and I got to say that my Argentinian commie waifu was able to destroy all capitalism. Mi mujer, mi amor. Like we won't get involved in this bullshit like it's free retards fighting. And this video has been dedicated to the 4% of my viewers that are female because it's International Women's Day. Tomorrow back to the kitchen. And boy we did go international with these borders. Anyway, subscribe for more videos, don't forget to enter the giveaway, like the video and tell me in the comments what other countries or pubs you want to see me play. Adios amigos. And as always, big thanks goes to my channel members, their names are in the description or on the screen right now. And a special thanks goes to Razanon, that one dude and Henning for being the highest channel members. 